here we go. Some of you already know I'm excited about this one. This is day five, Raven for Inktober 2021. This is the art project. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video at all, please give me a thumbs up. If you um, want to be notified of more videos, then tap that bell and uh, just keep watching. I'm going to do a little brainstorming here for Raven. I like to always brainstorm. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do. That's why I circled that first one. But I went ahead and did some brainstorming to think about all the different possibilities and different uses of the word. And then I followed that up with a uh, thumbnail sketch. Um, basically a face, uh, a, a human with a head like a raven. And so um, just a little thumbnail sketch. The first one did not make the cut. You saw I erased that and started over. And uh, I told you in the last video, if you have to erase a thousand times in order to uh, get your image right do it you know just keep erasing until you get what you want um, that's what the eraser is for so um, this is probably I mean it's it's weird to have someone with the head of a raven but it's probably the least weird and you've probably seen it before if you play Dungeons and Dragons at all you probably have come across um, uh, wear ravens which are not necessarily the bodies of a raven I mean the bodies of a human and the head of a raven I guess they yeah they are really but I, I've always kind of pictured them completely covered in feathers even part human part raven I don't know that's up for debate if you play Dungeons and Dragons clarify that for me in the uh, comments down below but um Anyway, in this case, and it kind of looks like someone with a mask, uh, a person wearing a mask of a raven. But uh, this is this was the vision that I had in my head as soon as I saw that raven was uh, day five's prompt. And so um, this is what had to be. And maybe if I did a few different uh, drawings of it, I might come up with uh, some different ways of doing it, but this was the this was the basics. This was kind of what I had in mind uh, when I started out here. It looked pretty muscular, like it was almost like the raven on the head of a weightlifter, a bodybuilder. But that's not what I was really going for. Um, it was supposed to be a uh, female uh, body with the head of a raven. I wanted it to be kind of uh, feminine kind of petite maybe I don't know um, but mostly just you know the head of a raven on the body um, Inktober is going pretty good uh, I don't have a set schedule right now so it's really hard for me sometimes to to just set aside an hour in the morning every day or an hour at night every day uh, I have done these um, on a trip home from Florida I have done these in the morning I've done these at night and it's only been like five days so um, I just don't have a just don't have a schedule down yet but um, anyway that's why I guess they call Inktober, Inktober a challenge one of the reasons anyway so I bought some new brushes and I'm going to implement one to do this in my last drawing I did a lot of pen and ink and this one I'm going to use almost entirely uh, brush brushes and I am using a watered down um, indigo blue and black mixture so it's kind of a the idea was to have kind of a dark blue or a cool black um, for the raven um, I don't know why but I think maybe at some point I saw a picture of a raven that had a really kind of bluish glisten to the feathers and that kind of stuck with me um, but I'm not sure if that blue even shows up at all in this black tell me if you think you can see the bluish um, the tint of blues it was probably about half black and half blue and I think that black just really ate the blue up I don't know uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this particular color that I 
hand mixed with some FW inks. Um, as I was drawing this raven, and I've drawn a few before, if you'll go back and look at all of my uh, videos, just kind of browse through or do a search at the top, you'll see there's a lot, uh, maybe not a lot, but there are a few raven drawings and raven prints, and maybe not raven prints, raven ink drawings and raven paintings. But anyway, um, what was I trying to say about them? Oh, yeah. Um, they're not easy to draw. I mean, uh, I think people, in a way, are almost easier to draw than ravens. I mean, like right now, my raven looks a little bit like a pigeon. And that's not not intended. Um, there's something really, really subtle about the shape of a raven's head that makes it a raven and not a eagle or a um, pigeon. So, you know, um, <clears throat> kind of difficult to get that shape just right. Also, like the distance of the eye from the beak and from the back of the head is very, um, has to be very perfect, it seems like. You can't just, um, you can't just put that eye anywhere. You know, like sometimes you can do stuff like that. Like you can put an eye just about anywhere on a person's face and you think, well, it still looks like a human. You know, it's it's just his eyes are further apart than other people's. Or um, you can put them closer together and, they go, you know, they, they look closer together than other people. It still looks like a person. But with a raven or a bird, you have that eye just slightly too far forward or too far back and you don't get a raven you get like a pigeon or uh, a crow so i don't know um again what do you see here uh, is it raven enough um in the end when i'm done does it scream raven or do do you see pigeon i think i might have said penguin a minute ago but uh is this a is this a raven or is it a pigeon Anyway, I've had a bunch of um, students, uh, if y'all don't know, I teach at Gulfport High School in Gulfport, Mississippi, and I've had several students named Raven. So here we go. This is a little tribute to all of the uh, students that I've had named Raven. If you are one of my former students, give me a shout out in the comments down below. Um, let me know you still exist. Um, a little bit of uh, cloth to um, dry that up, a little bit of white paint to kind of tweak it in the end, and I will be all done uh, with this particular day's Inktober. Hope you are keeping up with it. Hope you're having a good time with Inktober. Um, sorry I say um so much. Come back tomorrow for some more. But right now, it is your turn to go and make some art.